Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm just cleaning out my truck, getting all the tools out of it in here. Uh, tomorrow heading up to the tent for the first time this spring here. It's been about four months since I've been up there so ah, normally I don't even ever clean out my truck. This is you know just I use it for work that's about all I do and I've got my daughters going up with me tomorrow and uh, otherwise this truck only gets cleaned when I'm when I know Melissa's gonna be riding in here so take a look now that's as clean as it gets. Well, the next thing I want to do here is get some butter canned. If I remember right, when I was up last time, or at least during deer hunting, I can remember that I think I was almost out of butter. So, and I'm not going to do a step-by-step -step video on this. I've done a video on this. In fact, I did it back in 2011. It's a really crappy, <laughs> it's a really crappy um, camera. But uh, I've been using this stuff for five years now, and it works just awesome. I will leave a link to the how to can your own butter video in the description of the, to this one. It's really actually pretty simple, but since you're not using the water bath canner, you're not using the pressure canner, you want to make sure that you get your jars in the oven or in boiling water so they don't have any bacteria on them, and the same with your lids. Get those softened and into hot water because this stuff lasts forever, but you just you want to make sure you don't have any bacteria in there. It's always so foamy when you first start this. It takes a while to turn into a liquid. Well, there we go. Shake this every 15 minutes or so until it solidifies so we don't get two-tone looking butter. And I'll have enough butter for the temp for, this should do almost two years, I would think. I'm bringing up the AR-15 up there because I've never sighted it in after I put a scope on it. So, and a long time ago, Zachary, these were just some plate steel. It was, I can't even remember. I think this was when he was still yet in school and he just cut some holes so I can maybe go out and I got a spot where I want to hang these and then use this kind of stuff to shoot at. So, yep, that one's got holes in it too. So I'm gonna throw this in. Okay, well that should be just about everything in here except for my own bag with clothes, which I don't need too many, it's only for a couple days. So that's about it for in here. Got all the water in here. In the morning I'll put the frozen meat in the cooler. Okay everyone, well thanks a lot for watching. I'm gonna leave early in the morning, stop off and get some breakfast. And we should be up to the tent by noon. See you guys up there.